Eleven months ago, the driver, Stephanie Boyd, crashed her school bus while driving the same route in Deerfield. And today, the eighth grader who called 911 and worked with the dispatcher to triage the injured children is talking about the chaos inside that bus immediately following the crash. I uh, called 911 first and made sure everyone was okay, or looked around to see if everyone was okay. At 14, Mackenzie was the oldest passenger on the bus Tuesday and also yeah. happens to be the daughter of Greenland Police Chief blood. Tara Laurent. No, so perhaps her crisis management came naturally. You were on the phone a long time with the dispatcher. She instructed me to help some of the children who were wounded to apply pressure to where they were cut. State police are conducting an autopsy on the bus today, looking for any mechanical issues that could have led to the crash. Nottingham Police Chief Gunnar Foss says the driver gave three different reasons of why she lost control, and he is openly skeptical. We had 11 children on a bus. Um, and they weren't cared for. They weren't well cared for by the operator. That's my take. Less than a year ago, police say Boyd was involved in another school bus crash with uncanny similarities. Here on Kate Road in Deerfield, the police report states that Boyd failed to negotiate a turn, struck a pole, and several trees. No one was hurt. Boyd was not cited. Stephanie Boyd's driving record is pristine, not a blemish. The Epsom mother wasn't home when we stopped by Wednesday. Families of children who take the bus every day say she's been driving the same route for at least three years. The district superintendent today praised the effective, compassionate response of the principal and vice principal on the scene. Still, the chief says this crash was inches away from being a tragedy. But I think that um, we were so very lucky that we didn't have that bus roll over down the embankment. Um, and then we'd be talking about a different set of circumstances and probably more significant injuries, if not fatalities. Minutes ago, Dale Transportation released a statement that says in part the company's thoughts are with the children and families of the three people injured in this crash. All three are now out of the hospital. And following the company's policy, the driver, Stephanie Boyd, is, has been suspended pending the outcome of the investigation. We're live in the newsroom, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.